Join this Taipu Sound Festival, a festival of craziness. This is chili they pour all over him. Now people, they go crazy. They go mad. In trance. Look at these hooks and what they will be dragging with them later. Wow, just look at this. Long spear here. It's crazy, man. They walk on fire. Even my phone went out because it was so hot. And a father was carrying his child over these hot stones. Watch the full movie and see a lot more of this crazy and fascinating stuff. Now I'm here at this Varapalani temple. It's a pretty big place. And there is a festival today called Taipusam. So they are preparing it right now. It's kind of early morning, 7.30. And there will be some crazy things going on later also, which I'm hoping to see. My plan was also to participate, but I'm not sure if it's possible. Now I'm joining this line here. I don't know really what it's for, but let's see. So, now I'm blessed in some kind of way. On the surface, the Hindu festival of Taiposam might seem like any other Thanksgiving or New Year event. Celebrated during the full moon in the Tamil month of Thai, January and February, it's time to ask Lord Murugan, son of Lord Shiva, for forgiveness, good health and peace in the new year. Celebrations take place in Tamil communities in India and beyond. But here is where things get wild. As part of the festival rituals, many participants engage in various acts of devotion and control over their senses, including piercing their skin, tongue and cheeks. Some walk over burning coals. You will see that craziness later in the video. The devotees believe their sins can be cleansed through such act while also reaffirming their Hindu faith. There was a lot of rituals going on, especially around this guru. I don't know what all the ritual was about, but if you know, then you can comment in the comment section. The milk offering is another popular form of offering during Taipusam. It's to be offered to Lord Murugan, who is the temple god of war and victory. Lord Murugan symbolizes the qualities of bravery, power, virtue and beauty. During Taipusam, Lord Murugan's image is adorned and decorated before devotees escorted in a long procession. Throughout this day, I saw a lot of devotees in trance. Even though it's a trance, it looked like many of them was in a lot of pain. Now this is chili, they put chili over the guru, it's mixed with water. And of what I heard, this should be extremely painful.
Yeah, I'm so lucky. I met this guy here. I met this guy here, so I'm allowed to go with the yeah. with the guru and everything and sit in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a rat can go everywhere, right? I'm happy. Happy. Yeah, very happy. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I love it here. Okay. Very crowded. Sir, I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. And not everything comes easy. Sometimes the struggle is real. I'm with them filming. And in the end they also let me in so I can see and film everything very close. Yeah, if you want to we can go on that side. Yeah, let's do that. That was crazy. People, they're like college students, they don't know what's happening, they're like volunteers, they come back, yeah. and they push everyone, like they don't know who's, who's they, doing. They just want to see, they just want to see, right? Uh, are we going to walk on fire? No, I don't think so. I, I, didn't, I didn't get in the fasting. Ah. Yeah, I didn't do it. My mom, my dad, and my wife are into fasting, so they'll be doing it, I'll be doing it. So, you will feel more pain if you do it? Yeah. So now he's going to touch this metal plate. It has just been in the fire. Oh, fuck it's warm. I just touched some of the shit. It hurts my feet now. Fuck it. When they shout Arogra, it's a humble message to the God Almighty, which is Lord Murugan, who was the bearer of the spear, the victory spear, to grant refuge from all unpleasantness in life. It's so hard. The toss is with these bare hands. And after this, they're going to walk on this. After this, they want to walk on, the, yeah. on this, right? Yeah. Could you stand there? Yeah. <laughs> You know, the crazy thing is, I walked on it too because it was here, oh, and I was crossing. How hard was it? And like, uh, uh, burning hard. <laughs> I think my, maybe my foot, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe that's something. Here they will be crossing turmeric into small pieces while the guru lies under the table and take the big bumps. Later in the video you will also see how they use turmeric to avoid infection when I get really close filming devotees getting hooks attached into the skins and pierced big spears through their mouth. Here they are fighting to get the pieces of turmeric because they believe the turmeric in this ritual can change their luck in life. So if the people that get this, it can change their luck. See this lady? So this inside here, it can change his luck. Which one? He got one. <laughs> it was yeah. fun. I can take one? Yeah, good Thank one. you. So this can change my luck. Maybe I need it actually. <laughs> it's a hand? Antibiotic. Antibiotic turmeric. Yeah, yeah, like ginger, right? Yes. 
No, there's turmeric. Turmeric? Turmeric. Yeah. Okay. A antibiotic. The, the best uh -huh. antibiotic. I can't say. It's good for your body. Yeah, it's good for your body. Like, do, you, do you eat it? No, like you mix it uh, with your food. Like when you're cooking. Yeah. Not raw. You will do this? Yeah, we do. And then you... Uh, no, I mean with this one you will do and then it will give you luck or you'll just keep it? No, this... We just keep it. Just keep it? Yeah. For luck? Yeah. I don't know, maybe in the older tradition they would have... With these hooks attached to his body, he will be dragging something ritual after him for around three hours. Three hours of pain. We get to see how they almost faint when they arrive to their final goal, their holy temple. As part of the festival's rituals, many participants engage in various acts of devotion and control over their senses, including piercing the skin, tongue or cheeks. Some walk over burning coals. The devotees believe their sins can be cleansed through such acts, while also reaffirming their Hindu faith. These rituals are called Kavadi, which also means burden. It is a central part of the festival of Taiposam and emphasizes step bondage. The Kavadi itself is a physical burden, the bearing of which is used by the devotee to implore Murugan for assistance, usually on behalf of a loved one who is in need of healing or just balancing a spiritual debt. This is extremely painful and I can assure you that after walking three hours it will not get easier. Kavadi bearers abstain from all forms of luxury and desire for 48 days leading up to the festival. They fast and eat only vegetarian foods. As a result, devotees purify and balance their inner selves in preparation for their encounter with the Divine. As their energies flow through them, participants frequently enter a trance, a divine state known as Arul Vaku, Trance of Grace. Even though I could see there was in a lot of pain, it is said that they, because of the fasting, have powers allowing them to be pierced with hooks, spears and wells without feeling pain or bleeding. And I didn't see anyone bleeding from this. So now I will try. Yeah, what is? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I just asked for fun if it was possible for me to try and of course it was. Thank you. Wow. Now I just put some kind of spear in him. This man is already dizzy now, so just imagine him after three hours walking like this, which you will see in the end of this video. Wow, just look at this long spear here. Crazy man, looking good.
On Tai Pusam, Kavadi bearers shave their heads and take a purifying bath before embarking on a foot pilgrimage to the shrine bearing offerings. Taipusam is seen through the rituals and sacrifices to Lord Muruga as something needed to dignify the community. Taipusam is as much about the past as it is about the present. Good job, man. Someone is getting prepared to have some kind of stick in his mouth, I think. No, no photo. Oops, mistake. It was the big guru. So this guy we saw over here before, um, he was preparing not to get a stick in his mouth, but actually to have some chili and stuff over his body and prepare to have hooks. So maybe you can explain what he's doing. So uh, he's like, so he's like 75 years old. Yeah. So uh, for 51 years he's been doing this. 51 he'll, years. Yes, for 51 years. So what he what he's doing is like. Uh, he, he, you know, uh, we, we make a paste of uh, red chilli, 5 yeah. kgs of red chilli Oh uh, And we di dilute it with water yeah. And then we pour it on him And he waits for like 6 to 7 minutes or something like that Or uh, I don't know how, how many minutes and we have never calculated it No, no Till the time he wants But it's chilli all over his body All over his body There'll be nothing Like you'll not be pouring water after it You'll be waiting for this much time And then uh, And then Dhabi Shegam goes yeah. And then he puts hook on his back and Oops. then pulls uh, 20 feet? No, not 20 feet. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around uh, 15 to 15 yeah. to 16 feet of tear, which is like uh, uh, we have God inside it. And then we make it, you know, go around uh, the go around the temple. temple and then come back to the original place. Oh, that is how it goes. And you also told me something about like if you stand next to him, you can't stand yeah, the, the, the smell. Fumes, the, the red the fumes. chili fumes, you can't, you know, stand near him. You'll get cough. Oh. Your, your eye goes red. But so, he, so he, if, he can, so if I stand here and he stand here, uh, that's too tough. It's it's too uh, tough. Yeah, yeah, it's too tough. Oh, then like, I will. <coughs> you can't stand, so, but okay. you, you'll make your face. Yeah. But he, you know, he he doesn't make a face. He doesn't even blink. He he like closes his eyes and he'll be stable like that. Why can he do that? I don't know, because of his meditation or yeah. his power with meditation, his breath control. Maybe. Yeah, because they go in meditation some uh, days or weeks before yes. and they eat. For 48 they, they days he goes into, uh, go, goes into this uh, specific diet and this, uh, you know, uh, rituals and stuff. Yeah. How many days before? Uh, 48 days. For 8 days? 48. 48 days yes. before yes. they eat, uh, what do they eat then? Uh, at that time, they'll be, you know, having uh, fresh fruits and fresh uh, fruits. puffed rice, puffed yeah, rice, puff rice. Uh, peanuts, yeah. and something like that. That th uh, that'll be the that's minimum, the only uh, thing. Yeah, that will be the minimum diet that he ah. has. Nothing, so, nothing so fancy. The, but what about the days before? Do they stop eating the days before or something? No, he stops talking three days before. He ah. stops talking to people three ah. days before. Oh, cool. Uh, so oh. after that, he never talks. No.
Uh, only after all this thing done, like tomorrow. So three days after. before today, don't talk. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't talk. When, when do he talks again? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, after, after when it's finished, done. like 10 o'clock or something. Yeah. yeah. By the night. By yeah. The night. Oh, by night. Yeah. 11 the 26. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's starting the 25th and then it's it ends like tomorrow, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, three to four stages of pujas. Like yesterday was a stage. Yesterday night was veil puja. Yeah. You saw these weapons. The, the yeah, weapons. they decorated yeah. the weapons. Yes, they yeah. take that and then they worship it uh, inside the pond. And then it, that was yesterday. And today they'll be like doing all this performance. Yeah. And tomorrow they'll be like having another puja where you, they'll feast a lot of food to the god and then they'll break their fasting tomorrow oh. everyone would break their fasting tomorrow no, they only eat. after that they'll start speaking oh that is how this thing works yeah crazy yeah so i was actually asking if i could do the the hook thing in my bag and uh, and stuff um it was actually possible but only if i uh, fasted like they did and if uh, there's some kind of uh, guru or something allows yes, me yes, yes. so I can't do right now, even the hook. No, no. It's a it's a traditional thing, so I kind of think it's good because you know it's a Hindu thing. So if you come back next year, I'll talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next year I might be allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, brother. Bye, bye. <laughs> so actually, this is where the guru is living. The the guru with the hooks on his on his back. So he's living here inside this flat here, and just next to the temple. And he lives with uh, no wives and no children and stuff because according to his beliefs, it's not allowed. And this is his home. So right now he's not at home because he is having the hooks done in his back and stuff, having the chili on his body. But this is his home. Wow. It's like a temple. Yeah, it is. His home is like a temple. Yes. <laughs> it's incredible. storage room and his altar here yes they used to have pujas daily pujas daily yes. so people also come here for pujas or only him yeah not exactly but evening and morning but evening uh, morning. there's a set of people like to this organization they have a set of people yeah who you know come daily work and then go back like uh service yeah yeah service. so they come and help him and uh, yeah, yeah. On this time of the year, everyone comes. Like everyone, public, everyone. Comes. Everyone comes now, uh, because they, because they want his blessings and. Uh, yeah, but, the, but I was telling you about this uh, mala thing, right? They yeah. They used to wear it and then they go go into fasting. Yeah. So everyone, the thousand five hundred people who are there, they come here one by one, get themselves put put the mala from the guru from here, and then they go back. Like many days before today. Yes, forty eighth day, twenty fourth day. Uh, 18th day, 10th day, 9th day, 3rd day, 5 days, days. Yeah. Well, that's how it works. So this guy, he works here for yeah, him? he also works. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is his job here? No, he, you know, does all the puja stuff, he cleans. He cleans. He does everything, he makes the food. He, he lives here full, uh, full time with the guru? No, or? no, exactly. He sometimes go back, goes back, come back. Come like back. a server? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll just take a look around here. Sure. So... Go inside here. It's a big place he has, actually. Yes, it is. Uh, because you know. These are the, these are the types of uh, you know the, the things pots. that they have uh, milk and uh, you know the puts the stuff inside. Yeah. They're carrying the fruits that they pour on him. Yeah. The, not just the chili. Before and after that, they'll be having fruits and milk and. Oh. So this. this is a milk pot they walk on with the, on their heads. Yes. Okay. Yes. And all the fruits that we'll be have, having tomorrow? No. Uh, no? Uh, this is not for eating. This is not for eating. Some are, some are for tomorrow. But yeah. Most of them are for like, you know, uh, when you do this kind of puja for the God, yeah. you'll be pouring it on the God, like bathing them, like giving them a bath. Or with the food? You call them Abhishega. How do you do that with the food? Yeah, like giving them a bath? Milk. They'll be pouring milk. They'll be pouring curd. Over them? Yes. So like, if I'm here and I have a milk, pot of milk, I do like this? Yes. Oh, and with the food also? Yes. And then just after that? Not not exactly the food. Just the throw fruits, it away. The fruits, uh, you know, like uh, yeah. watermelon, uh, 
Sapota, orange, something uh, like that. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. Make food specifically for God. Yeah. So this God, you'll have to be giving this this food, and you have this kind of regulations. Some specific food. Specific regulations. Oh, and okay. they have medicinal properties as well. Oh. That is how it is. Like when you go into a astrology kind of guy, and then you ask them, like, I have this kind of problem, and then he tells you, like, you go to this temple and you do this. That is not just to go there, and you'll have to. In the ancient time, you won't have transport like last we like we do. You'll have to stay in the temple for three, three, four days, and you'll have to uh, eat their food. Yeah. You'll get yourself healed, and then come back. That is how it worked. Oh. In the ancient time, but now we still have that customs. We believe it. Yeah. So, so you still do some of the stuff, yeah, yeah. And you can hear the things going on here from the temple. It will be here for the whole day. This is where the chili was. This. Oh, so the chili is is having on his body. Yes. Was inside this one. Yes. Oh, you can actually still see some of it. Yes. Try put it on your body. No, 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 no. <laughs> and his kitchen here? Yeah. Most of the time he'll be making his own food. Okay. And his bedroom, I guess, somewhere? Uh, no bathroom? It's not being used. He, he's, he don't have a bedroom? No. No. He where where do he sleep? He sleeps on the floor most of the time. Like just here or something? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so the guru, he will just sleep on the floor. Maybe you can ask him where he sleeps. So he sleeps inside here normally? Yeah, like the beds, uh, I think, they, they used to have some bed. Like some before, kind of bed? Yeah. Before uh, some years, like when he was young, he used to sleep on the floor, but now he's too aged. He's like <laughs> 75, 80. You know? So he has a mattress or something yeah, now. Okay, he, okay. He kind of sleeps on the mattress. Yeah, of course, I understand that. And he went biggest! The sound of chants represent the loyalty and devotion of Tamils to their supreme being, Lord Muruga. Equating Taipusam to the mundanity of rituals and the forms of sacrifices misses the powerful meaning that the celebration has for the Tamils, their survival against the odds, and most importantly, their existence in the world today. For me it was such a cool thing to just walk right after the Guru and to get so close and walk and film with the main participants. Fireworking is a Hindu religious practice dedicated to the goddess Draupadi, where devotees walk across a fire pit in the hopes that the goddess may grant their wishes. Wow, she's cool. Wow, she's cool. <laughs> Again, here I asked if it was possible for me to participate, but again, I was not a Hindu and I needed to fast also, like they did. It's so hot that my camera went out before. Yeah. 
Here is the guy again, which I put the spear in. It seems he's suffering a lot, and he's not even finished yet. Now I'm getting up here. This letter. Take a video. Oh, he said yes. No, it's okay. He said yes. This man said yes. Sorry. Sir. Sir. Can you please tell him yes? As you see, I do whatever is needed to get a good experience and a good adventure. And now I'm up. I'm from Sweden. Yeah. That's good. Thank you very much. Police here. This is the beautiful Varapalani Andava temple. It's a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Muruga. It is located in Varapalani, Chennai. And just look at this. Hundreds of thousands of devotees coming to this festival and standing in line to get into the temple. This man has now reached his final goal, the temple, after three hours of walking three times around this temple. Exhausted devotees get help to reach their final destination. For three hours like this so now he's getting a little help i see but he didn't got the help before it's crazy and uh very brave some kind of way kind of weird way but very cool going three hours around this temple varapalani beautiful temple here in chennai The crowd is massive here. I don't know how many, but so many devotees with the milk pots up their head, walking also around with these for three hours around. And even in the morning, had a big ceremony. So it's been a long day. People are exhausted, people fainting also. And in trance, see the line here is still big. And I have been in this line as well. Uh, an hour ago, so you can imagine. Now it's also 30 degrees, so people are exhausted also to carrying all this stuff, and they need to carry this uh, pot of milk also for many for many hours. So it's not uh, it's not some easy thing to do. See here uh, the pot of milk. A tired kid. Walk for three hours around the temple.
And here we have the guy I put the spear into, finally reaching his destination. Wow! You're almost here, good job. You just need to go inside the temple now. It's been a long, a long trip with this. These spears inside three times around here. It's around three hours. <coughs> and they also fasted for some of them over 40 days and that's why i couldn't uh, participate actually because i asked if i could uh, get one of these spears inside the cheek or you know uh, like yeah just like them in the chin but it wasn't possible uh, you need to to say before uh, some weeks before and you need also to fast so also, also like a, I know, I know Hindu. It's uh, it's difficult. But I could. Next year I can if I want to, because now I got the contacts. I don't know if I want to though. But if I could this year, I would have done it. So maybe now I have the chance. Next year, we'll see. Now we're going inside the temple. The devotees here and the Tamil people to this beautiful temple, anxious temple, Varapalani. The temple is called Varapalani. And we walked around. Oh, they walked around Varapalani maybe for two hours now and now going inside this temple. Imagine people walking around with their spears uh, in the mouth and their hooks in the back. It's crazy. The pot-shaped bowl are carried by the devotees on their heads as offerings to Lord Murugan. The milk offered by the devotees will then be used by the priest to perform prayers and rituals. So after they walked around two, three hours with these pots of milk, 
they pour it out here and then they are finished it's a it's a long walk with these pots on their heads and especially with the with the people with the spears in their mouths and their hooks in their back so it's crazy Thank you for watching guys and just click on the link here to see a lot more cool and crazy adventures. Thank you!